Now that we've set up the IK, FK controls and also created a switch, we need to add some controls for the hands. And we're going to use FK for this. So first step is to create our controllers. I'm going to use a custom shape for this, which I'm going to create using the EP curve tool. I've got this set to linear and holding down X, I'm going to snap to the grid. And I'm going to draw a shape like this. You can choose whatever shape you would like. This is the one that I'm going to go for. I need to snap the pivot so it sits at the base here. So I'm going to hold down D to enter edit pivot mode, V to snap, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag and snap to the bottom. So one of these controllers is going to sit at every knuckle. I'm going to set the first one up by holding down V and middle mouse button and kind of wiggling my mouse to snap to this knuckle here. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to quickly just orientate it. So I'm going to rotate uh, 90 degrees to kind of position it like this. And then I'm going to rotate another 90 degrees around here so that it's orientated as I would like. It's a little large at the minute. So I'm going to hold, uh, I'm going to show my arm geometry and then I'm going to just scale it down something like this. Maybe. There we go. And then I'm going to freeze the transformations now that it's in position. Hide my geometry. And I'm going to take the name from this joint here that it will be controlling, this left underscore index one, and paste that and then add CTRL control afterwards. Whilst I'm at this point, I'm just gonna change the color of it so I can see it a bit better. In the control shape, we go to object display, draw in overrides, enable the overrides, and then choose a color that we haven't used yet for anything else. So I'm gonna choose this green color. If we go into the top view, we'll see that although it's in position, it isn't orientated correctly um, with the finger. So if we were to rotate, it's rotating at the wrong angle. So we need to correct this by doing the same technique that we used using an offset grip when we set up the FK for the arms. I'm gonna take the index controller and I'm gonna press Control G to group it. I'm going to copy this name, paste it, and add offset group to the end. I need to edit the pivot of the offset group because currently it's over here. It needs to be on the knuckle. So to do that, holding down D again, and then V, middle mouse dragging and snapping to the joint. The next step is to parent this offset group to the joint so that it orientates itself. So I'm gonna select the joint, then control click on the offset group, not the controller, the offset group. Go to constrain, parent, make sure maintain offset is off, that's very important, and hit apply. And we should see that it snaps into position so it's now nicely aligned for when we rotate. And if we select the control, we still have all our zero values. Perfect. We can now delete that parent constraint because we're only using it to orientate. So I'm gonna take this control group and I'm gonna press control D to duplicate. Hold down V, snap it to this. Control D to duplicate hold down V, snap to this. Just need to quickly go in and rename both the offset groups and this to, this is gonna be number two. The one on the end. Very important that we keep naming everything. It's a little tedious at times, but it's really gonna help you to keep on 
top of everything because we're going to have a lot of these controls. Okay. We can see that these aren't orientated quite right either, so we're just going to repeat the process. Select the joint, then the corresponding offset group, constraint, parent. Then we can delete that parent constraint. Select this third joint here, control click the offset group, constraint, parent. So we have those orientated correctly. Because it's FK, we want to be able to control these two when we rotate this one and this one when we rotate this one. So all I'm going to do to do that, I'm just going to delete that parent constraint quickly, is take my second control offset group, middle mouse drag onto my first index controller, and then the same, take the third middle mouse drag to create parent in here, so that when we rotate this one, it rotates both, rotates that one, and this one can rotate independently. Perfect. So all of our controls have zero values, but they're all orientated correctly. So the last step that we need to do for this is to actually parent the joints to the controllers. So I'm going to take this first controller, select the bone, constraint, parent. Just check that's worked. Great. So when I rotate my control, my joint is now following. And then I'm just going to repeat that. I'm going to select this one, this one, press G to repeat the last command. This one, this one, G. So now our controllers control our joints. We now need to repeat that process so that the four fingers. So I'll go through the second one and then I'll speed up the video for the rest because it's just repetition of what we've already done. So we can grab this offset group and everything that is underneath it, duplicate, snap to this bone. We need to go in and replace everything that says index with middle because this is our middle finger. Do that quickly. Okay, so everything's been renamed. I'm going to go into my top view. Now we're going to orientate the uh, controllers by parenting the offset groups to the joints. So I'm going to select this joint, control click this offset group constraint, make sure that parent, uh, the maintain offset is off, and hit apply. And then just do the same for these ones. Make sure I select the second control group this time, apply. And all this is doing is snapping our offset groups to the joints and orientating them correctly. We don't need those controls because all we're using them for is to put our controllers in the correct position, delete those. They're all nicely in position, they're orientated correctly, so now we can parent the joints to the controls. So select this control, this bone, constrain, parent, this one, this one, hit G to parent again, repeat the last tool used, G. Okay, so let's just check that, I select all these and rotate, we get a nice finger curl. I'm going to speed up the video now because I'm just going to repeat that process of duplicating, orientating and then finally parenting for the ring, pinky and the thumb.
At this point, I have all of my FK controllers set up for my hand, so they are controlling the fingers nicely. But we will find that our arm controls are not affecting the fingers anymore because we've parented the joints to the controllers the joints are no longer parented to this joint or any of the joints above so when we do anything to the arm if it's not affecting the controllers the joints aren't going to move with it so what we need to do is make sure that the controls move with the wrist and we're going to use parenting to do that. What we're going to do is I'm just going to, with nothing selected, I'm just going to click here so nothing is selected. I'm going to press Control G and create a group. This group is going to be um, eventually house all of the hand controls. But what we're going to do first is snap it to the wrist. So I'm going to select the wrist bone. You can do it in the viewport, but I find it easy to make sure I've done it using the outliner and then control click on this empty group and then go to constrain parent this has orientated this group the group has nothing in it uh, it's just an empty group but we can see that it's orientated um, itself with our wrist so that's why we've done that that way let's name this now um, so left hand And then I'm going to take all of these groups, control offset groups, and middle mouse drag them into the hand. I'm going to delete that parent constraint that I created to just orientate it as well. So now when we take the hand group and we rotate it, it rotates all the controls nicely. It's still not working with our arm controls yet because this group isn't connected to anything so what we're going to do is parent this left hand group to the wrist joint and then it's going to follow zero that back out before I do this select the wrist and then the hand group constraint parent and now when we move our arm our hands and all the controls move with it and then we can start to pose the whole arm, including the hand. You may notice an issue with the IK that you can move it, but when you rotate the IK handle, it isn't affecting the hand. This is down to the IK only controlling the movement, the translate of the IK wrist and not the rotation. So we can just add an orient constraint in there so that the wrist, the IK wrist, which is driving this skeleton that we can see, rotates with the IK handle, not just translates. So to do that, select the IK control, the left wrist IK bone, constraint, orient. And now when we rotate our IK, we've created that link. It doesn't just move with it, it also rotates with it. So that's if you come across that issue. So that's everything set up. It's a lot of repetition, which is why it takes so long. And I'm going to do a follow up tutorial that adds a bit more controls to the hand before we move on, which is up to you whether you decide to follow or not.